What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we've got for you guys is some beastly Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay going 46 and 6 with the Mothership which is currently the highest score streak in Black Ops 3 multiplayer and we're on the map Hunted playing Domination using the XR2 Assault Rifle which is a burst fire weapon. This gameplay is actually mine, it's from my good friend Mr. Dark JD, and I'll link his channel down in the description. Make sure you go check him out and he has a ton more Black Ops 3 gameplay so definitely go check his channel, I'll link it in the description for you guys to look around and of course he's got more Black Ops 3 gameplay on his channel. So this footage was recorded at E3 on the actual show floor against media and press and this is a complete destruction. It shows the lethality of the biggest score streak currently in the game and we're going to dive into this gameplay. As always, if you want to see more Black Ops 3 gameplay, I've got a ton right here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my future uploads and also drop a like rating on the video if you do enjoy this 46 and 6 beastly gameplay. So we're going to take a look at the class setup first off. You've got the XR2 Assault Rifle of course with a red dot sight in the optic slot. In attachments we've got the uh, stock which allows you to strafe more on your aim now sight and move a little bit faster. FMJ increases your penetration, so you actually hit people through surfaces. And they've also got long barrel, which increases the range and damage slightly at longer ranges and makes that drop off a little bit less harsh. And then finally, we've got the quick draw grip, which allows you to aim our sight quicker. In terms of perks, in tier one, we've got blast suppressor, which reduces the signature you make on your minimap when you do your thrust movements. It's not as noticeable as it is in Advanced Warfare, so it's not really that much of a central perk like it is in Advanced Warfare, but it's still a cool perk. And of course, increases your stealth kind of abilities. Then we've also got in perk two, we've got scavenger, which is classic. This increases the amount of ammo you can carry because you can pick it up with dead bodies and the final tier in tier 3 we've got gung ho which allows you to use your equipment and hit fire while sprinting so it's more an aggressive perk and of course that's returning from advanced warfare and there's of course there's a wild card at the bottom there which is essentially primary gunfire so that allows you to use as many attachments as you like and there's really a lot that you can use in black ops 3 of course there's five attachments plus one optics so technically six attachments and it's just a ton of things you can throw on your weapon and i really like that because i've always been the one to go for more attachments i've always enjoyed throwing away the perks and the grenades i never use special or normal grenades i tend to always overload my weapon with as many attachments as i possibly can but it's normally been around three in past games but now you can just throw on six and it really just feels good to be able to use every attachment that you want to use and maybe use less perks of course you can't in black ops 3 sacrifice your score streaks like you could in advanced warfare to gain extra points and put them into other places you cannot do that in black ops 3 your score streaks are fixed and you can't even change them in game either it's the same as black ops 2 where you pick your score streaks before you go into the game and they're kind of like set and in terms of score streaks in this game uh, he was using the uav which of course the standard one is no different than other core duty games and then the top of that there was the lightning strike which is the mid tier streak and that works again the same way it did in black ops 2 and you flag three points in the map which will be bombed in a simultaneous order so that's a very similar streak to black ops 2 and it's good to see that return and it's a very lethal one if you use it correctly especially in domination if you kind of put it across flags or where you think the enemies are going to walk into you can pick up a lot of kills and then of course the top streak is that mothership it's the highest score streak currently in black ops 3 we're not sure whether that will change whether it'll introduce another streak which is currently higher do a video on my channel if you want to check out which is a list of all the current known score streaks in Black Ops 3. I definitely recommend you check that out and I'll card it on screen right now and also link in the description for you guys to watch. But that's a list of all the score streaks in the game and there are six boxes at the very bottom of the actual menu which are blocked out. So those aren't currently selectable and that, that means there are six score streaks we haven't seen yet and they could be anywhere from lower than UAV or higher than the mothership. So it's possible there could be higher score streaks than the mothership. Of course, we have seen most of the score streaks that are returning in some way. The dogs, which are one of the highest score streaks in both Black Ops 1 and 2, those are returning in the form of the rats which are like these robot like barrels that spin around and drive around the map and they will go and run you down and we've also got the mothership which is kind of similar to the VTOL warship we don't have an EMP that is definitely missing or an orbital VSAT those two are definitely one of the two most notable ones that are missing I'm fairly sure like 99% sure they will be returning like I would I would not doubt for a second that they would be returning in Black Ops 3 and especially the orbital VSAT Von Har has also said on Twitter he pretty much confirmed that there is an orbital VSAT and there's a way you can kind of interact with it which is different to past Call Duty games so you can expect the orbital VSAT and the EMP to possibly returning and uh, now we're going to take a look at the mothership itself you can see uh, he just earned it he was on 95 score and he just managed to pick up a kill on someone that was on the flag and he went back into the water and someone managed to pick him off so luckily he actually managed to pick up the mothership just in time but here we go this is the greatest score streak in black ops 3 and you can definitely see why it's worth so much score and why it definitely has that tag because it is actually a monster it literally is this enormous vtol warship which hovers over the map and you have ages in this thing i believe it's around two or maybe two and a half minutes i don't know exactly how long and uh, but it definitely lasts a very very long time you can see that bar at the top that's currently ticking down and that shows how long you have and once that of course reaches the end that means you'll be booted out of it but that's how long you have it's a very very long time and it's got a lot of firepower of course you've got your machine gun and missiles and you've got two other teammates that can hop into you so you have three people gunning down with just complete machine guns i'm not sure if the other two teammates get rockets as well but you get at least three people with machine guns and you can have rockets yourself and it's just a lot of lethality and what you actually see just there is the mother 
Mothership went out of commission and he got boosted out of it. Now that wasn't the end of it and he didn't actually run out of it. And watching that the gameplay, I thought myself for the first time seeing it that that was just how long it lasted and he got booted out. Because it lasted quite a long time, it's quite a lethal streak and he got a ton of kills with it. But he actually got taken down. So I'm actually shot the thing down. If you go back and kind of watch this and pause it right here, you can see it says lock. So someone's actually locking onto him and there's like some sort of sting of missile that's actually taking him down. And that's actually what happened there. He did actually get shot down and someone must have shot enough missiles at him to actually destroy the mothership. And if you look at the bar right there, it was actually nowhere near finished. Like he still had a very, very long time left in this thing, but it almost seems like he got his fill and got his use out of the mothership because he got a ton of kills, but there was still a ton more time that he had left in it. So it seems like taking down this thing is definitely worth it because it sticks around for a very, very long time. And I feel like it's going to be very, very likely. I'm not sure how many rockets you need. I think you need possibly four to take down all four of the engines. When you do so, you can see it goes out of commission. The thing was smoking. It was very damaged and it flew back to its base. So it was definitely out of commission because it took enough damage. But uh, you can see just how much damage it took and uh, how much damage it can do as well. So it's a very interesting score streak and it's cool to see something that can be so lethal but can also be countered if you're smart with your missiles and you know how to shoot things down. And uh, like I said, that's currently the highest score streak in the game. But we don't know whether there'll be something that will outrank it. We do know there's definitely not going to be any kind of game ending nuke or possibly any type of nuke that kills the whole enemy team. Track has said numerous times, even from Black Ops 1, they aren't fans of those kind of nukes and especially game ending nukes and big score streaks like that that just wipe out the whole team. They want you to be able to earn it and actually do the shooting yourself and not just have a missile that just nukes the enemy team. So we can definitely not expect any kind of chem strike or DNA bomb or Moab or nuke returning in Black Ops 3. That's definitely not going to happen, but there could possibly be another score streak that outmatches it. We could possibly see some sort of swarm, like those little swarms that set people on fire, the little nanobots that we've seen in the trailer and various gameplays. I think that's very likely to be the highest score streak in the game, if not one of them, because I think that's very possible that you can have those swarms that we've seen various times. They go around, they set people on fire, and that would be a really, really cool score streak. Just imagine seeing everyone being lit on fire by these little nanobot locust things. But as you can see, the game ended just has he earned a second mothership of the game so that would have been an even more amount of kills if he actually got to use it but unfortunately it ended I'm not sure why but domination in this build only lasted half time as a 65 score and the full time was at 130 so I'm not sure why exactly that happened I'm sure it'll be longer in the final build and go to 200 of course no time limit it's just based on the score and that's the new domination in Black Ops 3 but hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay if you did make sure to give it a like rating and also check around my channel for more Black Ops 3 gameplay and also check out Mr. JD in the description for kindly sending me this gameplay but hopefully Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I'll see you guys in the next video.